We good? All right, folks, we're here with this year's U.S. Amateur Champion, Jacob Watson. You see the hardware there. Jacob, how you feeling after taking home this year's U.S. Amateur Championship great, title? Great, great. It's, it's heavy, and it's, it's awesome. It's a great opportunity. So you've been coming to this event since you turned 18 years old. That's I think right. You said this is your sixth appearance here, your first day making it to the final round. How does it feel to kind of get over the hump? I know you've never made it to the final day of competition. Right. This year you're down 6-3 mm -hmm. in an elimination match. Correct. First thing this morning, come battling back. And, and it seemed like you hit another gear a little bit. You really stormed through the next couple of matches. So tell me about that first match today and uh, kind of the comeback. Right. Well, it was the same. I took – I take games the same way as matches. Playing from the A side or the B side means nothing. So I lost my match on Saturday, and I just kept trotting and played great. And then this was the same scenario. I felt like I was losing the match. I had lost the match, and there's no reason to stop there. So you just keep going, and then from there, you're almost unstoppable as long as your state of mind is great. So. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the final round. You go up against Ernesto Bayawa, former U.S. Amateur Champion, guy you know really well. You guys are both from the state of Texas. Yes, sir. Um, mentally, how do you go into the match? Kind of because you've played Ernesto before. Anything that you've, you know, learned from past matches against him that helped you in that match? Oh yeah, def most definitely. Uh, most people don't care to know their opponent, or they just say play the table, but. Um, I know Ernesto is a great one-pocket player, and that can help him a lot in eight ball and maneuvering his cue ball. So trying to out-safety him was not ideal. Uh, the goal was to play full offense from there, and that's what I attempted to do, and I was just fortunate, away to, fortunate to get it to 11 before he did. Yes, yeah, so you've got that big piece of hardware there in front of you, that big U.S. Amateur Championship trophy. Of course, your name will be added to the traveling trophy forever to be included as, as one of the few people to ever win the U.S. Amateur Championship. What does that feel like to know that, you know, you, you've got that title on your resume and that never goes away? Uh, it, it feels great, great, really. I mean, the trophy is one thing, but, you know, um, the name being carved into the official trophy is what really shines out to me. You know, the opportunity to play in a pro event is awesome. Um, but, like I said, it's just overwhelming. Yeah, you had a beautiful shot there at the end. You banked that eight ball. Once that ball dropped, you had to be, I mean, you had to kind of, how do you harness the emotions to pocket that final nine ball? I know you knew you were going to make the shot, but you had to just be wanting to jump up and down. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> just respect to Ernesto and respect to everyone here that helped. But, you know, that the eight ball dropped, and I'm not a bank player at all, so I was thankful that happened. But uh, just one ball to go. It's, that was the speech a hundred times before I shot it. Anybody you'd like to say a uh, shout-out to back home, folks? A lot of folks tuning in, cheering you on. Anybody you want to you wanna thank, supporters? Of course, yeah. So um, Broken Stool, the pool hall that I play out of, Brian Smith and Benita, they uh, helped me get here, and I appreciate them. Uh, Kendrick Gilstrap with Texas Tires, I really appreciate him. Um, my family and all my pool-playing friends, their family as well. Uh, but most importantly, uh, my girlfriend, Danielle, she's, she supports me in everything that I do. She wasn't able to make it this time, but um, she was in my ear. I was in her ear after every match, win or loss. Um, I called her immediately. She's the first person I talked to, and I'm just happy to have her. So happy to have her support. Yeah, I'm sure the folks back in Tyler, Texas, are going to be happy to see you get home and celebrate with you in the, the big trophy. Jacob, we have one last tradition before we sign off. I want you to look straight at the camera, and I want you to tell the folks I'm Jacob Watson, and I'm the 2022 U.S. Amateur Championship. Take it away, brother. I'm Jacob Watson, and I just won the 2022 U.S. Amateur Championship. All right, brother. Congratulations once again, Jacob. Been a great run for you, and we look forward to seeing what the future holds for this young man.